And hi there, and welcome back to another great video on the latest updates in the world of technology from the channel of Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and I am back here with another great video about the latest update for iOS 16. So looking forward to installing the latest beta version on your iPhone? Are you confused over the bugs and problems that might associate with the installation? Well, here at Dr. Phone, we provide you with the best available method. So do make sure to subscribe to our official channel here and hit that bell icon right below for the latest updates on technology and the digital space. So let's start right with the video, shall we? So as for part one, the bugs and problems that one might face with iOS 16 beta version. You might have installed the beta version on your iPhone, but you may not be aware of the problems and bugs that the device may show after this upgrade. However, you may need to be aware of all of the bugs that one might come across with this update. For example, non-operational network connections. So the first thing that you might come across after this quick update is a non-operational Wi-Fi connection, which has almost been the problem of every other iOS update. You may face such a problem after getting your device upgraded to the beta version of iOS 16, so just try recovering your phone from such an issue with some simple and quick techniques. However, it still stands among one of the top most reported bugs in the iOS beta version upgrade. Next up is unresponsive touchscreen, another basic yet a significant problem that may occur to your iPhone after the upgrade of its beta version is the unresponsive touchscreen. With no touchscreen, it is impossible to go through your device and use it. So where there is no permanent solution available to this problem, you should still try some conventional techniques to make yourself out of a miserable situation like that one. So the next one is going to be battery drain. The iOS beta version upgrade can have a direct impact on the battery life of your device. Soon after you get your iOS update, you may find that the battery is draining faster than you might expect. This is usually because of the buggy optimization of the applications and services running across your iPhone. Next up is application crashing. Another significant bug that may make your life miserable with iOS 16 beta version upgrade that involves the device crashing across almost every application that you try to launch. As these applications do, do not support the upgrade, they may malfunction many times, making your device look unnecessary in such circumstances. And now for part two, how to revert your iOS to an older version. Although you may have figured out how to shift your iOS device to the latest version, being the beta version, it is going to come with a bunch of bugs, most likely as I just mentioned. With all of these bugs and problems mentioned, you need to revisit your decision to try out the beta version. In such circumstances where you have to revert to an older version of iOS, the following explanation is going to be the best one to get into the market. And this is going to be through Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS, which is going to provide you with the perfect environment for such procedures. So resolve all concerns with your iPhone with a few clicks, thanks to this efficient platform provided by Dr. Phone. Since you may be new to this, you should definitely see the next steps explaining what you can do to revert your iOS device to an older version. So first things first, go ahead and launch an access system repair download the latest version of Dr. Phone on your computer, then launch it on your device and select system repair from the homepage of the software. Connect your device that has the beta version installed with the lightning cable. Now then start on standard mode procedure as Dr. Phone detects your device. You need to select standard mode from the options. This iPhone repairing tool is known to detect the device model and system version automatically. And then select the iOS version to downgrade as it displays the information of the device on your screen and you need to select the iOS version to downgrade from in the system version section. And then click on the start button and then it's going to begin downloading the firmware. And then finally, install iOS firmware to repair the iOS firmware downloads and get verified across the platform. As it is verified, you will be prompted to a new screen where you have to tap on fix now in order to install this firmware and get it to work. It's only going to take a few minutes, so don't worry too much. So for part three, now we're going to enter the Q&A section. So which devices are compatible with the latest version of iOS 16 upgrade? So iPhones higher than the model iPhone 8 all support the upgrade of iOS 16. Users can consider installing its beta version across these models. And how are notifications going to change across the iOS 16 upgrade? The notifications panel has been revamped across the latest 
upgrade of iOS for a better personalized experience. Users can now access their notifications from below the screen, which gives them better control and visibility across the notifications of their device. So what will happen if I remove myself from the iOS beta profile? You will only stop getting automatic updates if you remove the Apple developer beta testing profile, as it excludes you from the program. Try being careful with such things as it would hinder you from solving the software-centric concerns with the beta version. So you sure have learned a lot about how to revert back to the previous version of your iOS device if you are not satisfied with the beta version. If you really can't afford to manage the bugs and problems, this upgrade is the best thing to try. However, you should always be prepared for it. If you liked this video, then don't forget to like it and comment any of your suggestions and improvements. And do make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell in order to stay updated with all of our videos moving forward. So with that said, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a good one.